While getting all kids back in the classroom is proving extremely difficult here in the county's largest school district, a small group is now back here at Lafayette Elementary, but many others will have to wait their turn, and parents aren't happy. Get our kids back in school! San Diego Unified parents lining up in protest over the district's decision to spread out in-person learning. We want a phase two. We want to hear more about what's coming next for all students, not just for a particular few. Leslie Hoffmeister was front and center, the co-founder of Reopen SDUSD. Parents advocating for all students to go back to class rather than select groups back Tuesday for in-person appointments. It's not about opening the fastest. It's about being the safest. We're asking for more answers, more transparency, and more options. But the district's reopening plan is contingent upon COVID data from the Department of Health, what school officials call a science-based, phased-in approach. So using science as a guide. Danielle Carlock-Stewart has three middle and high schoolers still at home. It's not easy, but she believes it's safer. We've got students coming in um, that will then be going out into the public and can potentially spread that to our community members. Still, support for distance learning is quickly fading across the region. Let us go back! In Carlsbad, more chance for normalcy. There are plenty of schools in our district, in nearby districts, with their schools open. The district recently pushed back the start of in-person learning for middle and high school to January of next year, while welcoming back preschool, elementary, and students with special education needs. They have been saying that they can't provide six feet of distancing at the middle and high school level. Now the Carlsbad School District plans to reassess their plans at a meeting schedule tomorrow. Meanwhile, the San Diego Unified District says it is not committing to any dates or timelines.